Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share how to list out all the different combinations of partitions of a given set. By using the bell number, we are able to know how many could we have for a given set. For example, if I say a set is with only one element, then we will have one partition. If we will have two, then we will have two different combinations of partitions. If we will have three, then we will have five different combinations of partitions. So what we have to do here is first list out the power set or what we call the subset of the given set. So for example, set A is with elements 1, 2, 3. So we list out the power set by using the formula 2 to the power of n. So 2 power 3, we will have 8. So we will have 8 different subsets here. Then according to the definition of partition, we have to bear in mind that partition is just a grouping of the set into non-empty subsets with the condition that every element is included in only one subset. So what we have to do now, for example, if let's say we take the subset 1, then we will have 1, 2, and 3. As we can see, all these elements are included in only one subset, means that not repeated, and all elements are involved in this whole set. So this is what we call partition. Okay, how we plus say we take 1 and then we don't want to take 2 and 3. Then we could have 1, another, 2, 3. So this is another combination. Then we repeat the same step. So take 2, then with another combination. So from here we can see that all these elements included in only one of the subsets not repeated and no missing. So for the next one, we take 3 and we group with 1, 2. So for the last one, so we just take the one left. So as we can see, we are not including, not included the null set in any partitions. We just have to bear in mind now set would affect the different possibilities of the combination of the partitions. If let's say we put it here, then we will still have 5. If we put it here, we'll still have 5. So regardless where we put, we won't affect the different combinations of the partitions. Let's try for another example with all elements, which means that we could have 15 different combinations of partitions. Set A with elements 1, 2, 3, and 4, we could have 2 to the power of 4, which is 16 subsets. So by using the same idea, we just take out one by one and make sure no repeated number and each and every elements are included in the partition. Then we could have all together 15 different combinations of partitions. Then we're done. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.